Hi, I'm Dead Boy. Hey, my name's Tom. I play music as How to Dress Well, and we're here for Fact TV Singles Club. Yeah. <laughs> I told a bitch I don't give a fuck about a man, bitch. I told that bitch I don't give a fuck about a man's bitch. I told that bitch I don't give a fuck. It's a really good song. It gets a little bit boring. Uh, after, like Future's verse is, is uh, Future's verse is not his best verse. Yeah, I, like obviously it's like a skew it on the Barbie kind of uh, vibe they're going for. And Future's trying to rap like Andre's verse on there. Yeah, he's got some good like cadences and shit, but it's a little bit like. I don't know, he seems to be reaching a little bit on that track. Yeah, yeah, and no, I really liked it. Um, I really like Future. Any, like, melodic kind of rapping, I'm all about it. Um, yeah, but it kind of, it's not too melodic on this one. Yeah, no, no, uh, there is that bit, that earlier verse, <coughs> which is, or chorusy bit, which is crazy melodic, which I particularly like. Um, and yeah, Andre's really good on it. Same weird stuff, yeah. 8.2. Yeah? yeah? You can do decimals, can you? 8.2 7 I remember all the times when we would go to sleep And you were next to me And I would see you in my dream 10 Straight out of the gate, 10 Right out of the gate, 10 out of 10 Uh, I'm gonna be conservative and go 9 <laughs> But uh, no, I really, really liked it, yeah it's, it's, you know, the kind of synth noises I always enjoy hearing with reverb on them. Nice vocal, um, yeah, yeah. I, the, the reason I give it a 10 is because I have no idea what the fuck they're thinking. Like, what are they, what are they doing? What is that song? What is that song about? Why did they choose any of the synth parts? Like the drum, it's like, I don't know. There's this, I think that what's happening with those, that whole like crew is they're just like, they have no presuppositions about what parts of songs should sound like what. And they just like, I don't know, the choices they make. Sometimes I'll listen to like any song out of the PC Music camp or whatever. First time I hear it, the first time I heard that song, I was like, this song makes me angry. I hate this song. And then like the third time I heard it, I was like, this is so <laughs> weird. It's like, it's like a Kate Bush song made by like a, I don't know, like a, like a, a teen uh, that's in it. like 2045. Yeah, it's like a, like Kate Bush kind of art school prog for like 2014. <laughs> Kate Bush art school prog, yeah. Give that a nine. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I uh, hadn't heard that one before. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to do things that kind of quite industrial but still like fun and I'd want to hear that in a club which is not something I usually say about a lot of kind of quite like I don't want to use the word glitchy but you know what I mean it's yeah, yeah. it's got that vibe to it but it's still like definitely fun yeah. which is hard and done well seven <clears throat> it's a generous seven because I really love meshes so much and what's that mixtape you made idiot thug mm. yeah so good. That track, to my mind, was like a little bit, um, it's just notably less exciting than a track like Meshes, which is just like, the transitions in Meshes are insane. Um, and Idiot Thug is so full of like crazy, amazing beats. I think that the dude is probably the best, like there's a lot of people who are trying to make music like that right now with like gunshot sounds and like thick slabs of like, like Yeezus stamped fucking you know, like industrial rap grime, electronic stuff. I, I really can't wait for that album. I, I'm already certain I'm gonna love the album so much. That tune, not my favorite from him though. I sent him a, a DM on Twitter and I was like, yeah, yeah, I want you to do a remix of this one song. I have a song on my upcoming record that's kind of like got a little bit of a dark vibe. And uh, he sent me a message back. He said, I can try and do a remix, but, but um, this is what my remixes usually sound like. And he sent me this like remix of a Christina Aguilera song, which was just screeching noise. <laughs> and I was like, all right, maybe I'm not gonna like cut you a check for a remix, <laughs> like, bro. Um, it's kind of like somebody put into a computer like how to make a 
song in 2014 and that came out and then Avril Lavigne sang on it and they released it and yeah. just sat back and counted the money, I guess. I don't think they're going to be counting a lot of money with that. No. <laughs> it's definitely like a, a just completely ridiculous money grab. So I, I, my, my review is this. My friend Patrick, he posted that and he just wrote problematic. So my review is like a, a, a five with a strong problematic. But I do have to say it sounds, it, without the video, it's actually n much better. It's pretty decent. It sounds a little bit like, at first it sounds a little bit like, like even, maybe even like sleigh bells or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go, go I'm gonna go five as well. Yeah, there you go. Five, because it wasn't uh, completely we didn't unfaceable. Get, actually, we cut it off though before it gets super racist. Oh really? It gets really racist, I think. Oh, okay. Like in Japanese, I'm gonna drop like, a point for racism. Yeah.